you find yourself investing financially in certain resources, that's great, do it. But the real price is spending time and paying attention. And if you can learn to master those skills, if you can learn to put those into sharp focus, then that's where you're really gonna start to level up. The real price of knowledge doesn't have anything to do with a financial price tag. When I talk about knowledge, I'm talking about knowledge that's really important, the kind of knowledge that can make a real difference. I'm not necessarily talking about, for example, the knowledge that would teach you how to bake a cake. That could be fun. There's nothing wrong with learning stuff like that, how to bake a cake or how to play a musical instrument. Those things all do have value. What I'm really referring to is the kind of knowledge that can help us as a species to evolve and help us first and foremost to release the shackles of bondage that we're in, the slavery to authority that we find ourselves in, to this predator class, which we're allowing to prey on us because we don't stand up for ourselves, because we don't really understand certain things that they do about the nature of reality. This kind of knowledge that we need to gain, mainly through natural law, through occult knowledge, it does have a price. And that's actually a very important occultic principle in itself is that there is nothing for free in life. The problem is that we often take that and misconstrue it. And we think that because nothing is free, that everything has to have a dollar sign price tag on it, or there has to be some kind of monetary price to acquire that kind of knowledge. And that is incorrect. And that kind of thinking will lead someone often to be stuck and will also prevent them from learning what they actually need to learn in order to evolve and in order to, for example, extricate themselves from the situation they're in. Why is that such a common belief that there always has to be a monetary price tag on important knowledge? Well, there, there are probably a couple of different reasons for this. First of all, to the predators, to the occultic priest class that rules over humanity, it's beneficial for them to instill in us certain beliefs that will perpetuate their system of control. And one of those beliefs is that there are haves and have nots, and that it takes a certain amount of money to acquire the important knowledge that you need in order to be powerful in the world, in order to have true power. So that creates a power differential in itself, and that's perpetuated through culture. For example, in the coaching industry, of which I was a part for about four or five years, this is a big part of it. In that industry, that idea that you have to pay to really get access to the important knowledge, that is heavily promoted and it's actually a foundational aspect of that industry. And I can tell you from firsthand experience because I used to work as a sales person in that industry. So my role in that industry was actually to sell these often very overpriced programs to people, many times who couldn't afford it. And as someone who actually bought some of those programs myself, I can tell you with 100% certainty is we would spend all that money only to get into the program and discover that really what they were teaching was publicly available knowledge. It was maybe just organized into a binder or organized into a collection of lessons, but there was nothing super secretive. There was no secret magic behind the scenes. It was all readily available knowledge that if one actually spent 30 minutes to an hour a day or whatever it took, they could learn the same information and save themselves thousands of dollars. And the only way people can keep doing that is, is if they keep lying to themselves convincing themselves that they're doing the right thing when in fact, if they were being honest with themselves, they would have to say, just like I did, that they literally wasted thousands of dollars on nothing. They squandered their money, they squandered that resource, that resource that could have been used for many other purposes. I'm not saying that money shouldn't be spent, but there is a correct way, there is a smart way to use your resources, and then there's a dumb, dumb, dumbass way to do it. So that being the case, if esoteric knowledge is not free, if being able to gain this knowledge and really truly understanding natural law and understanding the occult principles, the, the true nature of reality, if this is not free, then what is the actual cost? Well, the answer is, as it often is, is very simple. There is a currency that needs to be spent in order to gain this knowledge. Actually, there's two currencies and they're very closely related. And they have been called or termed the two spiritual currencies or the true currencies, spending time and paying attention. Spending time and paying attention. You might say, well, that sounds deceptively easy, David. Spending time, anybody can spend time, anyone can pay attention. 
Well, you would be surprised. For example, how many people actually spend a significant amount of their time investing energy in learning these kind of principles that I talk about on these videos and that others talk about as well as part of their great work? How many people actually do that? Actually, let's just talk about you. Look at yourself, because I've already asked myself this question. And I, more than a year ago, already committed myself to this work. So already now for more than a year, I've been committing myself constantly, daily, weekly, monthly, over time, not just to create content, but actually to do the study, to do the work, to spend the time to learn and to continue learning and also to pay attention, you know, not just to hear something, but actually to listen. Big difference, to actually listen and pay attention. And in a minute, I'm gonna talk a little more about paying attention because of the two, I think it's even more crucial to understand it because anybody can understand spending time. You just allot yourself an hour, you sit down, maybe you go into a private space, you take some materials, whether it's some video content that you're gonna watch or reading a book, for example, or whatever materials you're gonna work with, or even just a pen and paper as you're gonna go over and, and review maybe internally what you've already learned. So I think anybody can understand that anything we wanna create or do or learn in this reality does require an investment of time, anything at all. Things don't just happen magically. But paying attention, this is probably the harder of the two for most people. Anybody can pop in a pair of earbuds or earphones and sit down and, or even while they're washing the dishes, walking the dog, whatever, and listen to, for example, a powerful seminar about natural law. But are they really, really, really absorbing that? Are they really getting it? Yes, perhaps at some level they are, because when we do receive that information, at some level we are absorbing it. But are they really paying attention? Are they really, really paying attention? And I would argue that many times they are not. And specifically by not giving their full attention to something, they are going to miss out on a greater part of the lesson. And that's why this is the real price to gain this knowledge. It's not gonna be injected into you. It's not like in the movie, The Matrix, where Morpheus downloaded all these programs into Neo, and then all of a sudden he opened his eyes and said, I know jujitsu. This is not how it works in this reality. We actually have to spend time and pay attention. And paying attention presupposes something else, which is very important, is that you have to actually care. You have to actually care about it. Because nobody's gonna do something they don't truly care about. Care is probably one of the most important principles of reality. This care is what generates this reality. Because what we care about, we take action on. We act upon and we, and we do. What we don't care about, we're not gonna act on, we're not gonna do, it's not gonna get done, it's not gonna get focused. You have to care enough about wanting to improve. You have to care enough about not just wanting to improve your own life, yes, that's very important, but also by extension, wanting to make the world a better place. Sure, you could buy a course, sure you could you know, invest in resources. You know, There might be some rare book that you wanna buy and you have to spend $100 on it because that's the cost of the book and that's fine. If you find yourself investing financially in certain resources, that's great, do it. But the real price is spending time and paying attention. And if you can learn to master those skills, if you can learn to put those into sharp focus, then that's where you're really gonna start to level up. That's something I had to learn and I've learned for myself. And that's what's allowed me to continue to accelerate my own personal development, as well as continue to make better and better contributions to this body of work by continuing to do that and, and not stopping and always being open to learn. Recently, I started reading a book because I knew it was important. It's called The End of All Evil by Jeremy Locke. I sat down in a quiet space and I started reading it with no distractions. I didn't have my headphones, I didn't have music on, I didn't have anything going on. And I started to read it page by page and really seek to understand it. And as a result of that, I was able to get so much more out of that. And reading that book helped bring new levels of understanding and awareness to even the things that I had thought I understood over the last year and a half of being an initiate and being a student of occult knowledge. So that was kind of a reaffirmation that the learning never stops and that it's always important to keep going back and investing that time and energy into learning. So that's the real price of learning and that's ultimately the real price of freedom. So if we wanna be free as a species, the real price is we have to put in the time, pay attention, not on all the stupid shit, not all the distractions. Now you can see why the external world that these cultists have created for us 
why it's so full of distractions and shiny objects and, and so forth is because they know that they're keeping our attention. Why do you think platforms like TikTok have arisen? Because it keeps everybody captivated in a sense of thrall, scrolling through complete nonsense and trash and rubbish and dross because it keeps them from learning and focusing on the truth and on the important things and remembering their infinite value, your infinite value, our infinite value as human beings and our birthright to be free. So if you want that, if you want truly to be free, if you want us to be free, then spend the time and pay attention. Thank you very much.